All right, so hopefully <coughs> if this goes right and actually updates correctly, I know how YouTube likes to be sometimes. Um, hopefully we have we're live and everything's updated. <laughs> uh, I update it, always update it, but it likes on YouTube to, um, the title likes to be incorrect at times, so we're going to check that out here in a moment. JLW Games, I'm going to check myself, because I just, I, I never trust until it actually shows. Okay, so it's showing everything correctly, which is great. Look at this, we have an upload and a stream all in the same day. Isn't that great? All on the same night, within like multiple things in front of each other. I don't know. <coughs> you know, whatever you want to call it. All right, I kind of wanted to work a little bit in Silver Dollar City. I got this boost of motivation to work on some stuff and hopefully get some stuff going. And, you know, I've just been way out of there. So, uh, you know, just, just way out there. So. Um, I'm kind of going to stick away from Mystic River Falls because I know Darren has been working on a recreation as well and I would love to maybe uh, get him some credit and maybe use some of his stuff. His Mystic River Falls sign is absolutely stunning. I don't know if, how much I'll use of his stuff, um, but I would love to use his sign, give, obviously give him credit for it uh, and everything like that. I would love to have him um involved on this as well we've had misty's help us out a little bit and some stuff as well um <clears throat> have i given up on twitch streaming planet coaster i've kind of not re not really i kind of bounce between the two now um but kind of favor i guess i have been favoring youtube a little bit lately um <coughs> i guess that is kind of um kind of clear that um i have been mainly focused on uh, um, YouTube over Twitch a little bit just because I don't know <coughs> you know gosh dang there's gonna be a lot of coughing by the way I'm I'm having some of my coughing allergy crap come back and it's been crappy so far and like I get frustrated of the coughing fits I have. I can go like hours without coughing sometimes, but like if I'm talking, um, <laughs> constantly doing stuff, it's gonna happen. It sucks. Uh, is the robber scene gonna be in the park? A very good question. I do plan on having some sort of interaction there. It is kind of in there. I actually have custom audio for the train ride. Um, if you haven't seen it before, I do have custom audio for the train, and I do have the stop, and I do have it stopping. Unfortunately, for playing a coaster, you can only make the train stop in one spot for no more than 60 seconds, so the show is going to be a little bit, or very much condensed um, and, and everything, but I'm going to have something there, um, which will be cool. Yeah, they did release the Ghostbusters pack and the Studios pack for um, console edition. That's awesome. This is a this is a good game, a very good game. I uh, I agree. A lot of people would. Whoop. Am I on? Uh, I guess I'm on a not a game capture. I'm on display capture, aren't I? Yeah, I was on display capture there. Let's get um. Let's get game capture in here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, there we go. <coughs> Thought I was on game capture, but I guess I wasn't, so. Playing a song on the piano, Joe, do it. Oh yeah, I got my, uh. <laughs> I guess the audio on, the, on that, that's not gonna help. I would have to mute the desktop audio because it is going to get in the way of my beautiful skills here. Well, I only know one song and it's Halloween. I actually probably shouldn't be playing that because of copyright reasons. Oh gosh, 
<laughs> I didn't think of that. I'm like, I'm going to get copyright claimed <laughs> for playing that. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that. But <laughs> copyright claimed for the Halloween theme in April. I don't know, it's an easy song to play, and it's what I've been playing lately, is, is Halloween music. <laughs> Maybe I had a little lamb. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> I'm not that good, I won't get copyrighted. Well, you know, maybe that's true. That is probably true. <laughs> it probably, I don't know if it would be able to pick that up, since it's not the actual song, it's actually me playing the song, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> And any thoughts on the predictions on the mysterious record-breaking 2022 Gerslauer coaster? I've, that's the first I've heard of it, so please proceed to tell me more. Because I don't have any predictions, because I, I, I've not actually heard about it. You know where you won't get copyright claimed? Twitch? That's probably true. That's probably, I need to go back to Twitch for a second. For a little bit. <laughs> It's never too early for Halloween. You're correct. That's why I just, I love Halloween music. I love creepy stuff. I love scary, terrifying stuff. I don't know why, but I love scary stuff. It's my favorite. I love horror movies. All that stuff. Is Gunner here? And I don't think so. He must be busy with some stuff because I've messaged him and he hasn't responded yet to those, the, any of my messages. So I'm assuming he is not available right now for anything. He's probably busy um, and uh, working in RRV or something. I don't know. He has the park right now. So I had it for months and I didn't even do much. <laughs> Well, I did a, a little bit. Not as much as I should have, though. For as long as I had the park. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> <coughs> it's too early for Christmas. We can all agree on that, except for Gunnar. Gunnar probably wouldn't agree on that one, but I think most people would agree it's too early for Christmas music. I just don't like Christmas music that, music that much. It depends on the Christmas music. There's some Christmas songs that I do like, but some of them I hate. It's the more the commercialized ones that you hear on loop in a store for hours. Those are the ones I can't stand. I like I hate listening to that stuff. Now, when it comes to like epic Christmas music, orchestral orchestra, yeah. Like, there's an arrangement of Carol the Bells that I could listen forever by David Foster. I love that. It's the one that plays on the square at Silver Dollar City during Christmas time for the uh, for that show. It's awesome. Now, I don't know if that's open water. I'm going to actually leave that right there for that. Recently announced that there would be a record-breaking Gershaw Orchestra opening in the United States in 2022. So there's no idea where it's going to be. So, apparently, I guess. Predicting it'll be for Cedar Point. That could be interesting. Um, your favorite game. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> but, again, guys, sorry for the cough. It's going to be present for a while. I don't know how long I'll have the cough for. Probably months, knowing me. Uh, I hate it. I hate having this cough. It's absolutely dreadful. Um, let me see if I have some beautiful... Um, photos here to help me out a little bit. Uh, okay, I'm going to turn the audio back on because it's getting a little bit too quiet. <coughs> oh gosh, a little bit too quiet. Ah, oh, there's my reference photos. All right, there we go. Get my phone up, get my little kickstand, and we're going to get to work. I need to get some more for other areas. Uh, do you want to hear all about the Velocicoaster? I can walk you through the whole ride. Uh, not really. I want to experience it for the first time blindly and everything. That's how I want to experience it. <laughs> I love going into coasters blind because when I first went to Universal, I had no idea of anything of the rides. I didn't know much about the park um, when I first went. So I was super excited to 
explore and just to get lost in it and discover it. And my gosh, it was so magical not knowing what to expect. <laughs> hey, what's up, Misties? How you doing? Congrats on uh, Channel Five. I, I saw it. It was so. It was such an interesting moment because this actually just happened literally not long ago. Um, I I was on YouTube, just browsing YouTube and I saw um, the thumbnail and I was like, that kind of looks like uh, Westwood a little bit. And then I looked at the title, Westwood Park, exclamation point, and I looked down, and I was like, oh, Channel 5 Gaming. And then I hovered over the picture, and I saw the POV of the mine train, mining mission, and I was like, wait, what? And then it's posted 11 hours ago, and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I was like, Channel 5 Gaming just put, uh, checked out Westwood. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't. It's kind of cool. I'm kind of kind of sad that I haven't updated the park soon enough for them to check it out because the park is so much better now since that uh, that file, and I need to get it updated soon. So hopefully I'm gonna start working on it again. I don't know if I, I want to get that building going. <clears throat> I think I've got some reference photos of the Dockside Theater here. Let's see if we can finish up this Dockside Theater. Um, I gotta find those references of Dockside. Um, real quick, and I have different, there's Dockside right there, I think I kind of got an indoor view, a little bit, hold on, I probably should bring up Google Earth as well to kind of help me out, as, uh, with, also, needs to do a feature where you can make custom ride vehicles for the attractions, so that would be perfect for your park, with the train specifically, I would l absolutely love to see that, where you can, uh, at least do custom art, like, upload custom images to put on the on the trains themselves would at least be a good start, um, I think, as well. To be able to do your own custom trains would be even cooler. You know, I think they did that in Theme Park Studio, or tried to do that in Theme Park Studio, and it was actually pretty innovative, pretty cool. Um, a little bit advanced, but that's okay, because that's more for the advanced um, users. So um, it would just give us more options for advanced builders um, to work with. Um, so looking at these pictures, I have a lot of work ahead of myself here, I think. Or is this the wrong site? I can't pinpoint. That is that, isn't it? Hold on. No, this is the back side because the benches are facing that way. So this is the back side. <coughs> I kind of think I put this as a placeholder or did I use Google Earth to determine that? I can't remember. Uh, so, uh, I have to work in the morning to so see you uh, uh, go... Uh, <laughs> go back to Twitch. All right, we'll we'll probably we'll try and do some Twitch or Twitch stream, or we'll probably we'll try and go back and do some Twitch as well eventually. Uh, we'll have to. All right. Um. Uh, Google. We need to get Google. No. Ugh. I hate it when I'm do that. All right, here we go, and we're gonna get Silver Dollar City up here. That way I have an overview of the um, of the, the building as well. That way I'm getting everything as accurate as I can possibly do. Alright, so Dockside's going to be down over here. And this is, I think I modeled it mainly from the overhead view. Because it, it goes into Clarabelle's. It's actually built into Clarabelle's. It's so weird about these some of these buildings in SDC. They're very complex. You see multiple buildings kind of built in together. It's kind of weird. Also, and currently unknown what record Gersalar is planning to break with this project, so that's kind of interesting. Maybe the <coughs> the only thing I can think of is maybe the world's steepest coaster. Steepest coaster. I could see that being broken again. Um, hmm. What else would they look into? So you never know. So okay. So looking at this, this part is that which is raised up very, very <coughs> much higher, I think, than the rest <coughs> of the building. Um, but, uh, going based off of my reference photo at the same time as, as this, so, um, I think I'm going to actually use, I think I actually have Google Earth itself downloaded, and I think you can do a little bit more with Google Earth <coughs> on itself. Oh, maybe, I, th I thought I had to download, what the heck? I don't remember uninstalling it. I really don't. Hmm. I guess I don't have it installed. Interesting. 
I thought I did, because you can zoom in a lot more on Google Earth, I believe. <laughs> that's what I was going for. I'm pretty sure I had to download it. That's, that's weird. I thought I had it. Launch Earth. Oh, is, can you, is it, maybe it's just on web browser now. I don't know. Maybe it's not an actual download anymore? Is that what happened? I don't know. Yeah, it's loading up on a browser. And, okay. We'll go with that. I wish SDC was, had more 3D stuff. It's all 2D and there's nothing, nothing to it right now. And it kind of sucks. <coughs> you know. I wish they had Street View. Street View would be a game changer in this situation. I wouldn't have to take so many reference photos. Yeah, we can zoom all the way in here so I can get, get a lot easier to see the shape. See, on Google Maps, you can only zoom in so far. We want to be able to zoom in all the way. All right. Most inversions would be cool, too. That would be a good... That would be an pretty insane to see an inversion record because you're going to have to have at least 15 to break it. That's a lot of inversions. A lot. Alright, so I'm trying to not get too confused on this. This is raised up pretty darn high. Um, so we're going to <coughs> turn down the size and height so it doesn't mess me up. Whoops. Yeah, we're going to raise it up to about here or so. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streamings. As such, viewers will experience buffering. I don't know what you want from me, man. What do you want from me? <coughs> what do you mean you're not getting enough uh, video? What you talking about? Everything's good on this, and I think YouTube, I think you're drunk. YouTube might be drunk. Why you got an error, man? No time for errors. Alright, so we're going to have to go to <coughs> find these wooden walls. Um, is the is the video buffering for you guys? If it is, you probably wouldn't even... <laughs> A ride to beat Smiler in the U.S. I would love to see that. That would be amazing. The most inversions on a coaster in the U.S. I believe is nine, with Steel Curtain. I think that's the most inversions we caught in the U.S. And that's it. <laughs> so it would be nice to see us get a little bit more. I would like to see that. Okay, this is built kind of like this, and hopefully that color is fairly accurate. I don't know how close it is. We're gonna we're gonna check here in a second. My phone already turned off. <laughs> it's kind of a that's a little bit too bright of a yellow, so we're gonna change that before we get too far, so I don't have to select too many uh, pieces here. Let's go ahead and turn this down to a little bit of a <coughs> more dark yellow here. Um, like so. Alright. Um, I think we're going to do that and then a small piece. So not like a full on. Did you not change the color? What the heck? You didn't update. Update yourself. All right, we technically should probably get like an extension to this building just a little bit. In theory, um, the um, this little roof here is actually going to be over a bit like that. It's going to be like hovering over with a couple of supports and everything. Watching the NFL draft. Yeah, see, I, I don't watch the draft very often just because I don't know the prospects that well. I don't watch college football that much, so I don't usually have too much interest in the draft except for maybe the first 10 picks or so. Maybe the first, maybe around the first full round, but when is your Dollywood recreation coming? So I'm <coughs> probably going to do Dollywood. I, I've, I've mentioned that before. 
I'm gonna finish Silver Dollar City first, and then I'll get into something like Dollywood. I don't want to, like, do them both at the same time, because I... There's too many projects going on at once, you know? So, I already have enough projects going on at the same time, um, so I don't want to over overdo it with the projects. But, um... Which means I need to get my butt in gear and get this going, because, um... <coughs> waited too long. Now we're just waiting on this autosave to finish up real quick. Um... Once that finishes, we can continue here. So this is called James River Dockside Theater. <coughs> I want to get this building done. I'm not sure if we'll get it done tonight, but I want to get it close to, to done. Get it to a um, spot where I'm happy. Okay, I think we're done. There we go. Frames went back up. We're great. We're good to go. All right, let's get a couple of posts on this um we're just gonna use the normal post it's just a little wooden post that kind of supports this going up kind of like so on the corners all right and then there's like another cover that kind of comes across over here um that's just uh over there that is just a little bit <coughs> With Dollywood being SDC2, they would blur together like an author writing two books in the same series simultaneously. Yeah, I'm excited to do something like Dollywood. I'm glad because I'll be able to do... I'll be able to recreate Lightning Rod and everything. with Since we have the mods and everything, I can actually put a launch on the RMCs. Which is nice. <coughs> so we can actually put the lot the launches on there, which is an awesome thing. Like I'm super excited to make. I kind of want to like do a launched RMC project just for fun, like just a, a coaster project and do a launched RMC. Maybe like a, like a launched iBox. Probably not a wood coaster because the RMC probably wouldn't be doing that anymore. But uh, a launched iBox would be pretty nice be pretty epic i think so <clears throat> okay so we did the dock side um this actually will work well over here it's the same sign i believe just sitting right here and then it says james river on the top there's a sign that says james river and then a little sign underneath that will say theater so let's see if we can find signs that resemble them <coughs> well enough this one can just be kind of work like that. So let's go ahead and move this up a tiny bit. Theater. It's about like that way, so. Theater! Um, I'm just going to put another sign up here that says James River. Hopefully we can fit that in here. James River. Beautiful. PS4 update today. Was there an update for PlayStation 4? I haven't launched my PlayStation. I actually just got a PlayStation VR headset uh, that I actually want to go try out before I have to go to bed tonight. So... <laughs> Um, I bought one off of my, um, co-worker, well, actually, he's a supervisor for the park, and, um, <coughs> um, had a really reasonable price for it, so I couldn't really turn it down, and I was just like, uh, because I've, I've been thinking about getting one for a while, but, um, it's just so expensive, so, um, just got, a, got one used, I don't think he, I don't know how much he used it, it looks like it's in pretty good condition, so, um, just got, I still gotta fire it up and try it out, though, so pretty exciting nonetheless all right we go back to walls here and there's going to be some walls built up over here hold up where's my where'd my google earth go did i oh oh it's in uh <coughs> microsoft it opened in microsoft edge that's why i couldn't find it at first <laughs> Microsoft Edge, huh? Alright. 
This is the, SDC has such unique building structures, it kind of makes it hard sometimes, and it kind of makes me pull my pull my hair. Like, why can't it just be simple buildings? Why does it have all these weird, <laughs> weird things making it much more difficult to accomplish? Because <laughs> SDC likes to be unique, that is why. They are a unique park that does some unique things. So therefore, we don't need to question it. We just go into it and build. All right, that's what. So that's what we're gonna do. I suppose. All right. So this actually does come out a little bit and uses that roof. Yeah, hair in my mouth. Hate it. <sighs> Suggest R seven for sure. The demo was good. The game itself is excellent. Um, like what date? Are you talking about the recreation for Dollywood? Because I have no dates for you. Unfortunately, there's no way I can predict that <laughs> of when that will be coming. Uh, my kind of hopes is I know a lot of people don't think it's coming, but is to do Dollywood during Planet Coaster 2 um, when that releases. I'm still a firm believer that it's going to happen, so. <clears throat> and I'd hate to get it started, you know, like, I'd hate to start it and then Planet Coaster 2, like, drop. You know, that would kind of suck. So I don't really want that to happen. I want to make sure we're, it's, because uh, I would hate to do that. See, it would be cool if we could export parks. I don't see that happening. I'm not going to expect that feature. As much as I would love that feature, I'm not going to expect it, but it would be really awesome of Frontier if they could include that feature to where you can export your Planet Coaster 1 parks to Planet Coaster 2 and, you know, I would I would absolutely love that. I hope I hope they somehow potentially would look into something like that. <clears throat> but if the game has changed so much that they can't do it, I can understand why they wouldn't be able to. Um to me it's a it's a request that I don't think will happen. Like I said, I don't think that's going to uh, be the be the case i don't think we're gonna get that but you never you never know what frontier might have up their sleeve so it could surprise us all and make the most insane roller coaster simulation game of all time with like could you imagine the pop the just the potential planet coaster 2 actually has is through the roof Potential is insane. Absolutely bananas. So. And the only reason why I, again, the main reason why I say this a lot, uh, the main reason why I do believe it's going to happen is uh, the simple fact of that leaked roadmap. Uh, that frontier that that was leaked there was a leaked roadmap of all the upcoming projects and everything on it has come true so far it predicted Ghostbusters DLC it predicted Planet Zoo before it was announced and tons of other stuff <clears throat> and that's why I'm a firm believer that I think Planet Coaster 2 will have Just because that stuff on that has come true, uh, and it just makes sense to me that uh, that it's real because it has predicted everything correctly so far. So therefore, I believe it. Okay, so what is the smart? Oh, I got a close-up of this building. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Good for me. 
Look at me go. Making progress. Okay, so it is going to have some curbs going from here and heading back around. So we want to make sure we get those in. It's going to be kind of awkward just because of the terrain work that I do have in here. I think we can go ahead and lower this down a little bit. Let's turn down my intensity so it's not too crazy when I do this. Go down just a little bit there. Wish we had there's a there's a specific curb that I would love to have in the game that no one's made in the workshop or anything like that. And that's kinda like a rocky kind of curb texture. I was hoping someone would eventually make, but no one actually did, so has. I looked through the Theme Maker's Toolkit items many times and couldn't find anything that I uh, wanted. So this is the closest thing I have, but I can't angle it downward, so I've got to, like, <coughs> figure out a way of how to fill in all this. It's going to be kind of awkward. It's already kind of awkward because <coughs> how that's going right now, but... We'll make it work. We're gonna make everything work in the end, so. <coughs> Gosh, excuse me. Uh, full confidence in myself. If you've been following what SpaceX has been doing, no, I can't say I have. Decided to go bonkers instead. It's probably the best we're gonna get it for now. Uh, at the moment. <coughs> I won't. I, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I can't talk anymore. Speaking's not my thing anymore, I guess. I was trying to say something, but that did not come out whatsoever. <coughs> what I was going to say was I'm not going to have really any interiors um, just for the sake of... Uh, there would be some interiors, but um, I might eventually do interiors later on if I want to update the park regularly, but... To start out, I'm not going to really have much interiors. First off, I'm not very good at interiors. Um, I want to get better at them, and I need to keep practicing. But, <coughs> for the sake of getting ma the main stuff done first, we're going to focus on everything else first. So, <coughs> <coughs> I have a uh, see what supports going on over here on the side. Did I not get a good picture of that side? <clears throat> That's kind of a okay picture right there, but not great. Uh. 
So I think what we're gonna do is get these <coughs> rims and use this one. It's still kind of big, a lot bigger than I was hoping it would be. Ah, eh, maybe not. Maybe not too bad, as bad as anything. start on that building. So I did get a little bit here. For this area coming down. I think. Am I in the right area? I didn't want to get confused where I'm at. Yeah, that's facing Mystic right there. Looking at my uh, thing. We got the Dockside Grill. We can get some skillets and stuff like that. for like the overflow queue for mystic that goes out over here and then there's like this um really cool walkway yo yo what's up <coughs> how's it going i know that it's not really <coughs> yeah you're not gonna really get a good idea on it from google maps because it's still a con it's a construction site on google earth And there's no street view. Come on, you guys got to get some street view going. I'm just saying. Let's see what we got here. See, that's the old Lost River stuff right there. Lost River. And that's when it was lost or all those pictures all they have some 360 photos but most of them that one's lost river so that's not gonna that's not gonna help me make mystic river falls not much not much going on there all right so by the way, this stream's probably not gonna be that long, guys. Um, it's our, it's pretty late. I just I just wanted to work on SDC for a little bit, and I said, why not stream it at the same time? Um, I just wanted to do a little bit, you know, just a little bit of work at a time, and hopefully that will um, <coughs> result in me getting stuff done more often if I just do a little bit each day. Maybe not every day, but like a little bit at a time. So I can start. See, my problem is I need to go and maybe in the morning I can get some more reference photos of this area. And I think that's what I'm going to do before I really tackle this area. So I need to get a few more reference photos uh, over here first before we get too far into it. So um, <coughs> probably, that's probably about uh, the extent of work I'm going to do for this. Just work, I wanted to work on Dockside a little bit. Um, and we're going to get... Um, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna come up with a new strategy here. All right, here's here's my uh <coughs> my strategy. Okay, what I'm gonna do 
I'm gonna go in the morning for work, and since obviously I work at the park, I have access to backstage areas, everything. I'm gonna go get some reference photos, <coughs> say, of one thing. It could be a building, it could be anything. Um, so, for instance, maybe tomorrow morning I want to work on get this building done that's next to River Blast. I think what I want to do, I'm going to go in, get my reference photos of that one focus area, like a, a building, a even if it's like a pathway, and just working on some path elements and stuff like that. <coughs> And then the next time I work on the park, I only focus on that thing until I get it finished. Um, so stuff that I don't have done for stuff like that. So say say I go in the morning, because um, I get there early enough, I can take some reference photos before the park opens and, and stuff like that. Uh, <coughs> I'll just go in and get each spot you know, that I need. So I'll go into Dockside. I'll go in here and get the interior a little bit so I can work on the interior a bit better because I don't really have any good photos of the interior unfortunately so hopefully I can do something like that that I think will <clears throat> I think that will get my progression up a little bit because I get kind of stuck sometimes because I, I go and do these streets I'll get reference photos of just the general area and not just one specific thing maybe I need to start just doing specific things and I think it would help me out on my production because I just kind of get stuck in some places like yeah I'm working on this and then I kind of get stuck because I don't I, I did I forgot an angle that I needed or something like that <coughs> so I think what I need to do I get my reference photo slash video I think I might even do a video uh, that way I have less photos on my phone just a full video going around where I need to go um, <coughs> and it helps out uh, big time uh, sometimes I use some walkthroughs as well that can help um, <clears throat> as well. Um, again, it would be so useful if, man, Google Earth had Street View for Silver Dollar City, but it's one of the few parks that does not have Street View, and I wish it did. I, Dollywood has partial Street View. Not, the whole park is not on there, so it will be a little bit easier <clears throat> uh, when it comes to that, that park. So I'm going to show you guys around a little bit. For, if you're not familiar too much with Silver Dollar City, the Silver Dollar City recreation, I'll go over here to a more completed uh, area, which is um, Outlaw Run. <coughs> could say I know this area pretty well. <coughs> is the custom audio did not trigger there? Maybe it's because the park had just loaded in and I immediately paused it and wasn't playing. And enjoy the rest of your day here at Excuse me, sorry. Great work, man. Keep on working. Thank you so much. Hopefully, again, I can keep the work up. Welcome, pioneers. Y'all need to stow all loose articles. And that means hats, cell phones. Uh, go over that wave turn. This is the most proud wave turn I've ever created. The custom supporting, the shaping. I spent a lot of time on this wave turn, and I love how it turned out. I need to do a tutorial on how to make wave turns like this to get that shaping that you want because wave turns always have that little bow in the middle like kind of goes out a little bit you can see that in the shaping um, and I wanted to make sure I got that shaping in there and I was very proud of how this wave turn turned out it's super smooth on the POV too you get that nice 90 degree turn <coughs> it's beautiful there's the custom lift audio. I have custom lift audio. It actually sounds like Outlaw Run's lift. That's because the audio is actually directly taken from Outlaw Run's lift. For the audio there. That's why it sounds exactly right. And I love doing that to some of my rides. Or doing a lot of the rides. I did it on all my coasters so far. We have it on Powder Keg. We've got it on um, Wildfire. <coughs> Thunderation. They all have custom lift sounds. It'd be cool if maybe I can get some custom launch sounds for, like, uh, um, because I got a custom launch sound for Powder Keg, but I don't have any for Time Traveler yet. Time Traveler looks great. When is your next video? Um, you mean just in general or Silver Dollar City? If you mean in general, I don't really know. Um, probably very soon. Uh, I'm starting to get motivated again, so, um, I just posted a video right before I started streaming. Um, not, it was just an update video, so... 
and powder cake's got a really loud look too. I love the custom lift audio. Again, Misty's made the lift, uh, custom lift, or catwalk on this one. Really, again, I can't express how much I appreciate it because it turned out great. I love this custom catwalk that that you made. Believe it or not, that's actually a launch section, not actually a li uh, lift hill. I made it look like a lift hill because it is a lift hill in real life, but to get it to work the way I wanted to, I made it a slow launch to make it look like a lift. <coughs> kind of cleverly. <laughs> So SDC, I don't know, um, as long as I start working on it more, um, I'll get some more episodes out, or another episode out soon. So um, if I keep working on it like I am right now and start <coughs> kind of getting determined since I'm getting some motivation back, um, it could be very soon, you know. So I know some people don't want to sit through all these long streams and everything. They just want to see some updates. Um, so that's what those are going to be <coughs> for. Um so yeah, I think I think what we're going to do, so maybe, might stream tomorrow night, I'm not sure. So this is kind of what I want to do, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and take this building, I'm going to go into the park tomorrow morning, as long as I remember. Sometimes I forget in the mornings because I'm not a morning person. I'm going to try and get my references for this building specifically, and we're just going to do this building alone. Um, and then I might eventually get into some other stuff, um, so like... Um, and do that kind of like on a daily basis, you know, when I go into work, get some references, work on that specific thing that I got references of for that day, um, and then move on. And just keep moving on through the area until I get everything done. That's what I'm going to start doing. I think that I'm going to try that, and I think it will help me with completion, because I should have completed this recreation a long time ago. Um, but I'm stuck here. I've gotten a ton of done, but there's still a lot of sections that I haven't really touched at all. Um, and I just need to complete areas, you know. Um, Outlaw Run, the Giant Swing areas, those areas are pretty much done. That's the only part that I would say that I'm pretty much almost completely done with um, for those sections. Um, and Mystic, this area back here by uh, Crossroads, that area is probably the closest for next completion. Uh, Valley Road is pretty... F fairly far along it just needs some more details um this square is about half done i only did the right side of the square um the entrance area this is all pretty much done for the most part little there's there's stuff i'm gonna have to go back on and look for but but i can't wait to get i want to get it to the steam workshop to you guys so much it's i'm gonna release it in phases um if that makes sense i want to get once i get it completed enough that I feel confident in putting it on the workshop uh, I will do that and then it's going to release kind of in phases um, to get more completed so once I kind of get at least a lot of the areas at least a little bit established and everything I'll probably post it uh, kind of like a beta build almost uh, I guess you could say in the phases I'll have like a little beta build for it and then keep it updated uh, for that you see Westwood on Channel 5 Gaming? I did, and I just posted a video on kind of rea my reaction to that. So um, it kind of caught me off guard. I saw it a few hours ago, and I was, like, very surprised by it. <laughs> I, I, I was kind of, uh, I kind of upset a little bit that I didn't update the park file to what it is right now. I haven't updated it because I'm still going through some updates, and it's not done. Uh, I'm not done with those updates yet, so... Um, because it looks so much better in the updated file compared to what they looked at. They looked at an older file, uh, that is, it's what's currently on the workshop, but I'm going to be updating it again fairly soon, hopefully. Uh, man, I'd love to take a look at it. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Time Traveler. I'm so happy I got the launch, or the spinning cars on it now. I wish they had the mock extreme spinning coaster trains, but um, it's better than absolutely nothing. You know, to, at least we can actually have the spinning cars on the ride now. <coughs> Felt like a TV show crossover, and I was kind of nervous watching through it. You know, I didn't know how much critiquing was going to go on, because I'm like, this is an old build. This is uh, this is old, old JLW Games builds, because it wasn't that good. 
uh, back then, and, you know, I'm so much of a better builder now, so, um, <coughs> but maybe it'll help bring in some more people to the channel, and they'll see what else I have to offer, um, and everything like that, so. I love that I got the soundtrack. But yeah, I'm going to try a new strategy. I think it will work really well. <coughs> I really, really do. But anyways, if you guys haven't seen the steam train, what I've done for this is I timed it out. Custom audio. And I can't believe how much I've lined this up perfectly with the part. Obviously, I haven't developed this area very well yet. But it's going to be so magical running through the park on the ski trail. Now, that's the world famous silver dollar saloon. Everybody go, woohoo! Any park trips coming soon? Not, not as of yet. Some of my trips are kind of last second. <laughs> the dolly what I, what I just did was the last second. <laughs> I didn't make a vlog on it or anything. I just wanted to enjoy it. Oh, the autosave's going to mess it up. Dang it. The autosave makes the audio get off. <laughs> I hate autosave. It saves your butt, but I hate it when it lags out the game like this. I hope Frontier... They do make plenty of custard too. I hope they figure this out because I hate it. I absolutely hate it because it also messes up all the custom audio and unsyncs all the custom audio, which sucks. <coughs> and a big park like this, it lags out for a while too, so. <coughs> I would love to get to Florida. I want to I really want to ride Velocicoaster so bad. Oh, Alright, we're gonna have to start over because of the stupid autosave. Bye, Ben. I think he's still moves now. A lot of people have been quit the park, so. Thankfully, we didn't get too far into the train ride before that autosave commenced. <laughs> Silver Dollar Saloon, everybody go, woohoo! Will I ever go back to Golden Valley? That's a good question. No, I don't think I really will. But we'll see. I occasionally go back to it once in a while. Just past the old saloon, it's going to be fire in the hole. Everybody say it together, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Those great ball numbers came into town last night, and they set the whole city ablaze. So the fire marshal's calling for everyone to help him put out that rage in. That place, and everybody say it again, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. There it is. And down the hill, as you ride up ahead, y'all are going to be seeing a fence. We don't really know what's being built over there, but... This is before Mystic Earth Falls is a thing. I might get an updated version <laughs> if I can find one here. Alfie and Ralphie Bolin have busted out of jail. Oh, no! Oh, no! I love how you can hear Hello Runs. Uh, lift Hill in the distance. That's what I love. Well, worry no more, but we've got the best brakes that money can buy. That's batter cake. So will be in sometime next week. So in the meantime, everybody get your hands up in the air. Might as well get your hands straight up over your heads and go, Whee! Y'all know you in case we lose the brakes on this here. Great. It's kind of like a roller coaster. 
And you know, speaking of roller coasters over here, this is how this timed out so well. He's talking about powder cake now. From zero to breathless is just two and a half hours. At least that's what I got to put on that now. Get that good view of uh, Outlaw Run. And over here to your right is the world's most daring with those who are known as Outlaw Run. Outlaw Run picked up 107 feet, dropped you 162 feet at an 81 degree angle. Reaching a top speed of 68 miles there and will turn your world upside down three times. Outlaw Run was just so darn too good at one of the 2013 Golden Ticket Awards. We're working on the scaly attention to details so looking awesome. Well, thank you so much. Outlaw Run good guys always win. I can't wait until it's fully done. We're getting close to it where we get to the show. I do mean pick you up. Yeah, the locals, they like all that stuff, love water. They say first shit you start hopping, second shit you turn green, third shot you throw. Excuse me, I had a frog in my throat. Now I do need to remind everyone to please we keep it all hands on some place inside the train as we are now entering the rattlesnake country. country. You know it got that name because just the other day a lady up in car three had her arm dangling outside and a giant 97 pound rattle headed copper moccasin swooped down out of that tree and grabbed this lady by the arm, pulled her clean off the train. Now we ain't seen a hide no hair or that lady or that snake stand. But we do hear from her husband. He's back there at the saloon and he's buying drinks for everybody. He's saying happy days are here again. And then now also be around this corner, we are going to be back to by the wreck of engine 82. 82, Maybe that's we nice. did have this engineer by the name of Ichabod, Goofy Body, and well, let's just say he had a little bit too much fun back there at Moonshine Stump. He took our train for a ride. Well, he came around this 2.5 mile an hour service, a breakneck speed of 5 miles an hour. Needless to say, he did not make it. Well, that train jumped the track, didn't roll down the hill, and it crashed into the trees that going to be off to your left. And now, luckily, nobody else is on that train except the Lake of Oz. We need to get more trees in this area and we get it forested up he like it is in real life. So we pulled him out, we dusted him off, we lectured him back up with a fresh jug of moonshine. Hey, what's up, Becky? How's it going? He's driving this train right now. Hey, it's about to get there. Can you give us three juice on your whistle, please? Okay, it's about after three. I said three. Well, that's just to show y'all that there's three kinds of people in this world. Those that can count and those that can't. You didn't get that joke, that's which one you are. That okay, ain't the first one. The other day I said, hey, come on, you know what three and one is? He said, yes, I do. Everybody knows three and one's an oil. Oh, okay, no. Wait a minute, what are we doing slowing down out here in the middle of rattlesnake country? This thing's going to stop. Now, hey, come on, what are we... No. I said, so you shake your fist and you're going to be falling out there and call them ugly. Ugly. So you can only stop it for a minute so I can do the full show. 50 years. I had to go in editing and edit to a minute. Because you can only stop it for a minute. I wish you could stop it for a minute. Those two notorious train robbers of Silver Dollar City were lucky enough to escape with their minds. Everybody wave and say bye, Alfie and Ralphie. Both give them a big hand. They're out here all day long robbing trains, even for just a little bit of sense. Coming this October called Pumpkin Nights. 
We're going to have our usual craft festival during the day, but once that sun goes down, there's going to be nearly 10,000 lit up pumpkins all the way from Main Street up on Town Square, all the way down in front of Time Traveler, and all throughout the Grand Exposition area, folks. So be sure to come back and check it all out. But also, if y'all thought that our Christmas festival couldn't get any bigger, well, I guess we're all wrong there. Our Christmas festival this year is going to be the biggest that it's ever been, with 8 million Christmas lights all around the park. Folks, we're going to have a brand new 80-foot tall Christmas tree up on Town Square. It is all going to be a sight to see. We've got a lot of great things coming this year, and y'all do not want to miss out on any of it. And also, for those of you that still have not ridden Time Traveler, y'all need to do so, because Time Traveler is still the world's tallest, fastest, steepest, and it's even still one of the longest spinning roller coasters in the world. It will launch you twice at around 35 to 47 miles an hour. It will send you upside down and air raising three times. It will even drop you down a 100 foot tall vertical drop. And folks, that is straight down. Now, I can see some of you are shaking your heads. No, I don't know. There ain't no way you're going to get me to go on Time Traveler. Well, folks, I can reassure you it is a controlled spin. That means it will not spin fast at all. I think that we rotate tonight, we still have a great ride on the track, and we get the great ride for all the other guys. Be sure to go and check out that time grabber, it's just a little smudging, folks. I'm all the sounds at once, because I have all that custom audio in there. <coughs> it is magical. Now, if you're going to be seeing the roundhouse. There's the roundhouse. Well, I haven't built the roundhouse yet. <laughs> oh, I gotta move, I gotta move the, uh, break room. They moved it. It's square. I guess you could say they weren't cutting any corners on that project, but, um, it's okay, y'all don't have to laugh at that joke. I'm not the one who wrote it. I'm still pretty proud of how Mystic River Falls has been turning out. see all the coasters like this in real life. <coughs> Water bogging tower that still stands to this day. Now, folks, at this time, I would like to thank all of our active duty military and all of our veterans for their service. God bless each and every one of them. So let's just give our veterans a round of applause right now. We need to thank them and their families for the sacrifices that they made. Because without those sacrifices, we would not have the freedoms that we have. You like that I typed this up. God bless each and every one of them. And folks, what do you say? Let's give all of our veterans another big round of applause. We cannot thank them enough. Now we are coming up on our final cross middle ride. So we'll go rolling on through. I need to fight you loud and proud and wave and yell howdy. Oh, it's got two car four, you're back here in the class car with me, we're going to do something a little bit different. Alrighty, car one, wave and yell howdy. Howdy. Car two, wave and yell howdy. Car three, wave and yell howdy. Now here we go, car four, wave and go. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Now, folks, we are coming back into the drainy bone on behalf of me and my entire drain crew. We would like to thank y'all for coming out today and riding the Drisco Silver Dollar Live. Please take this time to look around you for all your crafts, folks, we do want to keep this old steam train clean. And we want y'all to get home with anything that y'all may have brought on board. And also, at this time, I do need everyone to please remain seated. Once again, please remain seated. The brain does roll we'll back just a little bit once we stop. So, folks, for your safety, I do need everyone to please wait. Everybody wait, please. Wait. There you go, folks. Next statue. But, yeah, I'm glad. That, I'm pretty proud of how, how well I timed that out. It took a little bit of audio editing, but... Um, I didn't have to really edit the audio at all until about the fireman's landing area. The Most of the ride was already pretty well 
timed out on its own. So, <coughs> uh, I had to do a little bit of editing just to get it lined up with the, the crossing right here, but that's about it. So, But yeah, <coughs> I think I'm going to end the, the stream here. I just wanted to let you guys know about the everything that I'm working on and everything like that. I just wanted to get something going a little bit. Maybe I'll get back on Twitch a little bit. Apparently, you guys want me to stream on Twitch as well, so... Uh, we'll get back into Twitch a little bit there, and uh, um, also YouTube. I'll kind of share it between the two. How about that? <laughs> so, anyways, that's going to do it for this live stream for now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, if I remember my references and everything, we'll be back into Silver Dollar City. So, I'm going to go ahead and save and um, call it good there. So, make sure you guys have a great day and even cooler tomorrow. I appreciate you guys checking us out and being here for me. You guys rock. Uh, if you haven't seen the Channel 5 Gaming on Westwood, be sure to go check that out as well. It's awesome. Um, glad that they, uh, glad that they uh, <coughs> checked out Westwood. It's pretty pretty cool, and maybe they'll check out some more later on, you know. Um, hopefully they would check out something like this um, if I get Sword Art City finished. I would love for them to check that out. Red River Valley, uh, me and Gunner's Park, of course. That'd be awesome as well. Um, <coughs> so... Anyways, that's going to about do it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great day. And I'm going to cool her tomorrow, and I'm going to catch you guys next time. So, um, sorry that it's a, such a short stream, but um, <coughs> um, it's already late. Um, it's better than nothing. Better than no stream, all right? Better than no stream, all right? You know what I'm saying. But anyways, see you guys. Thanks, and goodbye. Mic off. Mic feedback off.